The issue of uh, childhood immunizations uh, comes up a lot um, as uh, we're caring for babies after delivery and um, it's obviously a topic that uh, carries a lot of debate. Um, we uh, certainly live in a free country where we have the right to make choices for ourselves and for our family and, and certainly when it comes to immunizations we still have the right to choose for, for our children. I think it's important to understand a couple of concepts when it comes to immunizations. Uh, first of all, uh, we're talking about the health of the individual and trying to prevent certain illnesses. Most of the vaccinations that kids get uh, these days are for diseases that are very uncommon now because of uh, the vaccine programs, uh, although that's not true of all of them, and uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, the other important thing to understand is that uh, it's an issue of public health. It, the more individuals that are immunized, then the less uh, prevalent a disease is going to be in the community. So uh, when I talk to my parents and they have concerns about whether to immunize I point out the fact that um, they can make an informed decision not to immunize uh, because they benefit from the fact that most other people have immunized their children. It's a, it's a concept called herd immunity where if the incidence of disease is low, then your risk is going to be low. Um, the, uh, the issue as far as the actual benefit gained of an immunization for that individual child particularly in the first year of life, is related to the potential for serious bacterial infections. And there are a couple of the vaccines that, uh, that prevent the most common causes of uh, meningitis and, and uh, pneumonia in, in uh, young, ch uh, young infants. Um, so those are still important. Uh, the other uh, uh, disease that has been hitting the news, and there have actually been a lot of uh, infant deaths um, across the country this past year is that of pertussis and uh, the fact that um, not only do infants need to be immunized uh, to try to prevent pertussis but adults end up being the uh, vehicle or the carrier and so it's important that uh, that adults get their boosters for pertussis. The new tetanus vaccination comes with uh, a combination of tetanus, diphtheria and pertussis and uh, so they can simply get that through the health department or their doctor's office. So the guidelines that we follow for immunization schedules are exactly that. They are guidelines. They're strongly recommended, um, strongly encouraged, uh, but uh, there is nothing mandatory about uh, immunizing yourself or your children and, and uh, it's just important that you make an informed decision and that you understand all the aspects of that decision. If you feel you have done your research and you're still uncomfortable with the idea of immunizations, then that's a perfect opportunity to sit down with your own uh, personal physician and uh, to discuss those concerns and resolve those conflicts.